Hearts and Holes, Part 1. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get started. There's a printable viewing guide for you to use to answer the questions in the movie as you go along. That's the address. If you're using the verbal and the picture part of your brain at the same time, it helps your thinking and your remembering, and you'll have notes to go back to later. Here's the big idea, abstractly. Almost everything we do with amounts and numbers involves a whole thing that's made up of some parts. We add or multiply the parts to find out what the whole thing is. We're going to subtract or divide if we know what the whole is and we need to find the part. Let's spend some time on this idea. Look at this picture of my bicycling buddy, Carla. What parts of Carla can't you see? Why do you say her head and neck are there even though you can't see them? You can name the parts that you can't see because you know what the whole thing looks like. The parts are there even if you can't see them. What parts of gravity aren't shown in this picture. Are they really missing or just out of sight? You know gravity has a head and front legs. Trust me, he does. The big idea here, the parts of something and the whole thing exist at the same time. And we can think about either the whole thing or the parts. I'm not a wimp. I just don't like storms. The rest of this truck is there. Let's see how this works with numbers. This case of soda has 24 cans in it. It's got purple, blue, green, orange, yellow cans. If we talk about the four purple cans, is the whole case still there? Of course, the parts in the whole are both there at the same time. 4 plus 20 equals 24. The parts add up to the whole. Got it? Ready for the next part with more numbers? Here's the legal stuff. 